So I wanted to quickly show you how to use a shifter in Gran Turismo 7 and how Gran Turismo in particular handles a shifter. So on PS5 obviously, um, first this applies to Thrustmaster only, I don't know how Logitech works but first as far as I'm aware if you want this to work on PS5 um, it has to be plugged into the back of the wheelbase. Um, I know, I think it was Gran Turismo Sport on the PS4, you used to be able to use the uh, USB lead on this plugged directly into the PlayStation. I don't know if you can do that with this one. I'm not going to bother trying because there's a spare port on the wheelbase, you might as well use it. So yeah, plug it in, fire up Gran Turismo, the game just immediately recognise it recognizes it you don't have to uh, do any calibration or anything oh yeah i will say you do need to update the firmware on this to the latest version or i don't believe it works um i think it's version 29 for this and the latest firmware uh as of late june 2022 is version 34 for the wheel so yeah the game recognizes it basically what happens is you can still use paddles like that um, and you don't need the clutch to paddle shift um, but if you want to use the stick you basically have to push the clutch pedal in once and then the game sort of recognizes that you're using a stick and the stick will start to work um, if I try and put it in gear now it will just grate the gears if I don't push the clutch pedal down hear that so obviously you have to push the clutch down to put it in first now if I just let go of the clutch quickly now it will stall so I'll do that to show you so the car is dead as you can see I'm hitting the accelerator it's not going anywhere um, so to restart the car you just push the clutch in Give it some revs and it just restarts. Stall it again. Just keep the brakes on. Stalled. So I didn't push the clutch down. Well, you know how a manual car works. So again, to restart, make sure it's in first or any gear really. And make sure the clutch is pushed in. Push the gas down. And there you go. And obviously you can push the clutch in as you drive in and hit the revs. It's just going to do that. <laughs> Which makes it really good for doing a clutch kick if you're doing like drifting or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's it. There's neutral. It's going to take a bit of practice, um, but you have to make sure you give it some revs when you're setting off, as you would in a real car. So, a bit like that. And there you go. Again, if I slam the brakes on and don't push the clutch in, it's killed the car. So, put it in first, hold the accelerator down, and it restarts. So yeah, hope this helps. Really good shifter, I've actually ordered a uh, Clix Beetle for it, I might, I'll probably do a video on that as well. And this uh, low down shifter mount is really good, proper sturdy, it's just not going anywhere, and it looks neat. So. Yeah, that's how you get a shifter to work in GT7. You must remember to update the firmware to the latest one for this and for the wheel uh, base as well. It is game dependent, but I'm just saying for Gran Turismo 7, if you want a shifter, if you want this shifter to work, you need the latest firmware.
clutch in. You can also uh, adjust the uh, clutch pedal if you want to. I'll just show you that. That came in a, a recent update. Bear with X. Actually, I think you can do it from here. So you go up top, press the Gran Turismo button, options, and where is it? Uh, go to controllers. And then I think it's yeah steering controller settings and there you go you can view your uh, steering angle there's your brake accelerator clutch calibration you can set the minimum amount of uh, clutch pedal travel before the clutch engages which is quite nice um, default value is 12.5 which I think is yeah that feels about right. Yeah, it feels good to me. And the same with the air brake and the accelerator if you wanted to. So yeah, hope this helps. Um, works really well. It's a really good setup and the game handles it nicely as well. Because if you're in a car with paddle shifters, you can just use the paddle shifters and leave the clutch alone. And all of that will work. Um, so yeah, it's nice. Works, works really good. Also, I should have done this at the end of my fan replacement video, but I'll just do it now instead. Um, it's just a, a listen test for the uh, new fan. Everything's on mute, so hopefully you can hear this. It is very quiet compared to the stock one, though. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, this is just completely cool on the top. You can kind of feel the air coming out the vents a tiny bit. But yeah, it's much, much quieter than the stock one was even before it started to break. Um, it's a really good upgrade. I'd, I'd fully recommend doing it. It kind of just sounds like a, a, a modern PC. No, it's probably quieter than that even, but yeah. Um, definitely a, a good upgrade and it should prolong the life of the wheel because I can keep it on forced cooling mode all the time now and not have to worry about the, the fan breaking down so yeah 